Engine going back in. Got the man, broken quattros here. Throwing down the program with his bro ham. for a minute, but then we remembered. <laughs> binding on something here. My engine mount is pretty far out here. I'm right on the turbo here. Stud. What's that hose it looks like? Well, yeah, it was more, I'm actually, we're actually, it's not, it's the, it's, this engine mount is hitting on the frame. Oh. So we need to go to my way, huh? Yeah, or we just need to pop off that engine mount and then put it on after. I think that's So what we're doing now is um, the subframe mounting points on the car, we're cleaning those out with the chaser and then uh, digging through finding the correct bolts because I had, I got a bunch of new bolts and then I had a bunch of the old stuff zinc plated and I put them on the same box together, kind of mixed it up. So um, got those bolts now and we're putting them in and then hook up the the linkage and uh, tighten up all the mounts now and then the, we'll do the got the drive shaft hooked up um, and this should be good and then we'll be able to cut it loose here in just a second so this is the monumental moment look at this Dave is literally pulling. Up the, uh... Watch this, Dave. Yeah, I know. Isn't that freaking awesome? Is in there? A A N. In my Ur Quattro. Yeah, man. All because of broken we, quattros we can over get rid here. Of this strap now, I think. I think that's kind of the next step. I'm gonna hang that on my wall. That's a <laughs> that's a good souvenir. Close. Yeah. Yeah, that is really close to the. Frame. Pretty freaking rad. You actually have a lot of room. I mean, look how much room you actually have back here. That's what I was kind of you thinking. Know, you actually have quite a bit of room to, you know, like if you want to do a catch can setup or something like that, you know, obviously you're going to have to do a downpipe. AC lines will be able to fit. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
heater core will be able to fit. Yeah, I mean, it, it's really not that bad. I mean, honestly, here's one of your heater core lines. It literally just needs to be like, you know, cut and then just. You know what right we should do? She just remake some nice, nice heater core lines out of silicone. For the seven people who are gonna have a twenty valve in there. Hey, ear. I want to support. Most people need su to <laughs> support the support the enthusiast. You know. Dude, I'm stoked though. It's officially this is there. awesome, Dave. Thanks so much. Yeah, of course. Love helping out. Thanks for the uh, GoPro clip, man. I'm gonna use this thing. I'll probably use it like this, though. I'll be honest. Oh, yeah, that, that feels better. So rad. Now we're pulling the uh, old AAN intake manifold off. We're gonna have to build the water manifolds. Um, gonna try to use this AAN one and then um, weld in a fitting. And we're gonna fit the BST manifold tonight. Ugh. You can see my tire there, but you can't see the intake manifold. Grab it out of there. There we go. Ugh. BST stands for bad, super, totally awesome. Just kidding. That was a joke. Yes, my sense of humor. Got a, uh, some cool surprises. I went over to Broken Quattro's place the other day and he has like 15 extra engines laying around um asked him i said hey you don't happen to have a ac compressor for an aan and the bracket that i could use to be able to match up and see if it'll if everything will clear with my intake manifold and then uh we can build the radiator all around all that stuff and he said yeah just uh i've got this engine sitting underneath Underneath this table over here, you can go ahead and pull that out and we can pull whatever whatever you want off of that. So, went over there, hooked me up with an AC compressor, bracket. What we're going to have to do is probably cut the this fan bracket, fan assembly off here and leave the pulley. Um, and then, got an alternator, power steering pump and tensioner so what i'm going to do is we're going to test fit all that stuff on the engine here see how much clearance we have and if everything seems like it's going to clear all right um we've got the water manifold here so let's see it goes like that so that'll be our cooling line to the radiator and I'll probably build some custom hoses for this this setup since I want it to look nice and look factory. Um, so we'll run the hose off and then build our build our radiator however we can here um, to clear everything. And then the other idea that um, Dave and Ian when they were over the other night we were throwing around is uh, trying to come up with a game plan for an intercooler that's going to be able to leave us with a nice low profile not get in the way of anything else um i'm set on running ac on this car i just people will actually want to ride with me in it and, and when you build such a cool car like this you're going to want to be able to take your friends out your family i know my kids are going to want to love going to shows um they love going to shows with me and they're going to want to go in this car Kingston's already said he thinks that this is going to be his when he gets older. But, um, so what the plan is, we will run a twin intercooler setup, similar to the um, Audi TTs, the first Audi TTs. And we'll have, you know, one intercooler on this side, and then I'll run a tube across the frame rail at the front end of the the bumper here and then another intercooler down on this side and that'll be down low in the corner there so that that will provide the cooling for the car and then uh we'll have to just build that custom radiator here and the ac condenser is going to have to be there as well so we'll have to build a probably build a custom ac condenser but other than that i mean Look at all this room we got in the back of the engine here. So, 
be interesting to see what we're left with once we get all this done. Um, been setting out all the parts. So the intake manifold, I'm going to take and do a ceramic silver engine paint on. We're going to go and blast water manifold, thermostat housing, and pull apart our throttle body, blast that, clean that up, and then that'll get ceramic coated as well. Um, our coil pack cover, I think what we're going to do is machine out quite a few sections of this to be able to let it um, let the heat out and then we will take and run the R8 coil packs the red or red top coils um, in there valve cover that will be blasted as well and I'm kind of thinking we'll do silver on the valve cover to match everything else and then the coil pack cover i'm, I'm on the fence probably just a semi-gloss black so i bought a set of 17 um inch bbs rs wheels off of a guy in russia and his uh his english was pretty broken so it says um, have lips, barrels, have apostrophe, T, apostrophe, lips, barrels. And so I'm, I'm thinking, okay, this guy is including the lips, barrels, and the faces, and wafers, and everything all together. But um, what he meant to say was haven't, so that he doesn't have the lips, the barrels. But in all of his pictures, it included all that stuff. So... I was super excited. I got these wheels for a killer price, and um, then when he goes to ship them, he sends me pictures of just the faces. And so I messaged him back, and I was like, "Hey, uh, must be a misunderstanding. I was under the impression you were selling me the whole wheels that you had pictured." And he says, "No, I said having the lips, faces, or the lips and barrels, but um, he doesn't." his English stinks and so he didn't really know what he was saying and so I said well you know I, I think I can get a better deal local so how about you um, you know refund me and just uh, relist those and he, he's like okay so he did that and it was real cool about it I really appreciate him doing that for me and then uh, literally like within half an hour uh, these BBS's RS wheels 17 inch pop up on my my local page and I was like oh this is freaking rad so I hit up this guy um, you know I totally love the color just kidding they, they're gonna go back to uh, probably a silver to go on the Audi Quattro um, we'll do like a triple dip chrome lip and get all factory BBS hardware for him but Got a, got a good deal on these, the kids, local, and I went to pick them up, and they all have tires on them. You know, extreme stretch, way too much stretch for my application, but kind of cool they have tires. Maybe I'll run them on the uh, Golf Sport Wagon for a little while, but so I'm here in Park City, um, where I had to drive up to pick them up. I had to work up here today, so worked out great, and these are the new wheels for the Audi. So I figure while we're up here in Park City, we got to go to the uh, best sandwich shop, Clockwork Cafe. So we're here going to get some, uh, get get a sandwich and head back to work. So we got our Tri-Tip Tuesday sandwich from Clockwork Cafe. Miss Vicky's salt and vinegar chips. You know, everybody, I guess, has to have a food vlog is what, uh, Seems to be popular on the uh, internet these days. So, got the tri tip, pepper jack cheese, a little bit of jalapenos, lettuce, tomato, onion, and salt and vinegar. Can't beat Clockwork Cafe.